Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, welcome. Happy May 1st, happy beginning of a new month. I wanted to start this month off by sharing something I have spent the last month working on. I originally wasn't going to make this a whole video. I was just documenting it to maybe throw some clips to show y'all what I've been doing. But a lot of y'all are saying, what's the update? How is the yard? So here is my yard project, my DIY restyling project that I went through in April. Long story short, what you are looking at is the condition my yard was in <laughs> when I got a letter from HOA saying you have 14 days to either treat or reside your front lawn. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. And I already went through the process of trying to reseed when I first bought this house. That was a no-go. So reseeding was really my only option. After getting a few quotes in my area, letting me know it will cost me a couple thousand dollars. Um, yeah. I took on the task to do this myself. So here is my step-by-step -step progress picks day by day, how it turned out, things that I use. I don't know who this may help or if this would just be entertaining, but this is a real life homeowner type of situation, right? It's not always decorating and pretty, pretty, pretty. This is the nitty gritty homeowner things that come out of nowhere and you just have to address. And this is truly a labor of love, y'all, a labor of love, not only for my home. I love my home, right? <laughs> A labor of love for my money because I like to choose what I spend thousands of dollars on. So, so I decided to pay myself that few thousand dollars so I can spend it on something else, spend a fraction of that cost, do my research, and spend a few days going through it. Mind you, don't worry. This is you'll see. This is this is not for the week, <laughs> and I understand that. <laughs> but I put my DIY hat on, so I hope that it inspires somebody. I hope that it shows maybe somebody who didn't know the process that it is actually doable if you are willing to. And I honestly learned so much in the process. My normal content consists of home decor, DIYs, makeovers, all things home. Check out my other videos. There are literally hundreds of videos for me purchasing this house as a fixer upper and all the things I've done to make it what it is today. And I'm excited to say that there is just so much more that I have planned. So if that is your kind of thing, feel free to subscribe join the tribe we would love to have you but right now we are getting down and dirty and saving money in the process so sit back relax and enjoy well here is what my yard is looking like right now this was my attempt to try and decide some of my grass but i don't have grass it's just dirt so i realized that wasn't really working out this is one of the sticks that i need to cut with my tool what's basically happening under here y'all is this is like dirt and sand together and there are so many roots of different sizes from my tree of course that are just integrated so it's gonna be i don't know it's 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 a, it's a thing but i'm on a time restraint i basically have to get rid of all of this nothingness to hopefully reside new grass this is what my yard looks like right now very very bad very, very bad. Very, very bad. I even have to address the curb portion right here, which is also equally very, very bad. It's just a bad situation overall. So here's my lawn. get this tool which is supposed to help with the weeds so my hope is that because this is mostly just dirt and weeds anyway 
and resodding I think it's gonna be next to impossible on this bed of I was gonna say of grass but it's not grass this is supposed to be like I'm gonna put y'all down Okay, so I think it might be best because I don't have much grass on this side to simply just focus on like getting as much dirt and weeds up as much as I can for like here, all the way to over here. It doesn't actually turn into like grass, <laughs> you know, that might be a little harder to pull up um, until these last parts. So I'll just focus on over here first, boom. I realize I'm going to need to carry away the dirt as I go. I'm just literally going to dump it in the backyard. Last night, last night I was literally using this bucket and dragging it on a tarp to the backyard. So I'm about to go rent a dolly. Not a dolly. I'm about to go rent a wheelbarrow from Home Depot. Because I didn't know you could do that. And you can. And I'm not ready to quite invest on buying a whole ass wheelbarrow. So, update. Look what's in my hair. This man did not tell me this was in my hair this whole time. This is life. <laughs> this is life for me. Progress, not quite there yet. We got this patch left. Trying to get this side to at least meet up with this side. Hope y'all can see this. Here is the progress. My back is killing me. I have been doing this since like 10 o'clock in the morning today. And it is a good almost six o'clock. I really need to go all the way to my backyard, but I think I'm gonna <laughs> stop it there. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to that tonight, but I'm gonna do as much as I can. So we'll see. I just want y'all to know that it is past six o'clock PM and I have been out here since 10 in the morning. As you can see, that's the dirt. We've got about this much left of my property. And then it goes all the way to the back of the gate. And I'm just gonna try and get as much done as I can today before I have to return this 
wheelbarrow. I've just been working. It seems very simple. Even the monkey birds are laughing at me. <laughs> I have just been working nonstop. Sun's gonna be going down soon. And we're just gonna see how far I can get <laughs> before Home Depot closes. Look at my freaking Crocs. Like, what? I can't believe. I got this far. I just have a little bit. I'm not even gonna say a little bit more left. Not a little bit more left. I got some more left, okay? Okay, I'm gonna try and finish off at least the parameter. This is the line of where it should stop. So I've got this patch here, along here, and then come in here towards the back. I don't even think I'm going all the way back there, to be honest. That little tool is my baby version of a sod cutter. And if you know anything about cutting off sod, this is super tedious, y'all. This is not the, the preferred method. <laughs> to do with this if I'm okay to finish it out like this I'm gonna obviously try and clean it up but oh god okay the rain is over the sun is out right now honestly I am at a point where I just want to just be done I mean go to the store buy some topsoil and some compost level it as much as I possibly can with my expertise, okay, I don't need the best line on the block, but I have so much on my plate right now, and I'm so overwhelmed with everything that I need to do with such a short amount of time that I need to get this done. And I'm gonna do it knowing that I did my best, so whatever comes from it or whatever happens, we'll just go from there. So what I need to do now is all these little sticks, which are literally everywhere. The sticks are just poking from the ground because of this tree here. I'm gonna get some shears and that'll hopefully help me with cutting as many sticks as I can. I'm going to rake up the mulch. I'm gonna bring out my tool and I'm gonna cut as many branches as I can, y'all. Which isn't a whole lot, but now that I look at it, this is the middle of the sidewalk here. This tree comes over here. This tree comes over here. And I'm just looking at branches that I can literally cut off myself. So I'm sure I could reach that and cut that. That branch isn't too thick. And I just cleaned this mulch, look at it now. I won't be recording any of this, but have a look at what it is looking like now. Just know I'm about to get to work.
So I'm going to do a topsoil and a compost mixture. Now, these bags, which are one cubic foot, are $1.87. Black Cow, which is a better grade, is like $5.87, almost $6 a bag. We're going to go with the cheap option, okay? And we're going to work with it. I'm going to get 10 bags of each. Start from there. I might do 12-12 just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I'm going to do 12-12 because these bags are pretty flat. And that'll just kind of add to the line before I get whatever side I get down. <laughs> All right. as much as I'm gonna level it I don't it's just not gonna be perfectly level it is what it is now I have to do this section clean out all of the pollen cut all of the sticks loosen up the dirt and level it as much as possible I know one thing before I go to bed tonight that will be done and all of this will be down that's that's it like crap right now I can definitely tell a difference my soil was just sand and it just like sunk into the ground this is giving it more of like a solid I don't know what you call it y'all I don't know if I got enough but I'm making it stretch the lighter patches are my old sandy soil mixture dirt and yeah I'm not going to sleep until I get all the bags emptied out. Period. All right, boom, back at it again the next day in the daytime. Here's what we're looking like. It's windy and I'm on my phone so you can probably barely hear me, but as you can see, it's the sand, the sandy soil, the topsoil and the compost mixed together. I left this part open because I think I want to do mulch there. The, the roots are so like high. I don't think grass is really going to grow well anyway. That's just my theory. So yeah, I went and got a little bit more topsoil and compost just to kind of like fill in some spaces. Hmm. That's the update y'all. That's the update. I'm going to mix these up, fill in the last areas as much as possible, and they are actually on the way to deliver the side as we speak. So that was an update.
Well, I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> this is really <laughs> happening. I just think it is hilarious the things that I am willing to take on <laughs> with without a second thought. Like, oh, a couple thousand dollars? I'll do that. <laughs> I'll learn that. I was, a, I was a ladybug. It just flew off. A ladybug just flew off the top, y'all. That was a good sign. Now, there's a little bit of browning on it. But he told me once I lay it to come to him and he'll give me something to lay over it. This is like a family owned company that I got this sock from. And it was a fraction of what Home Depot and Lowe's was charging. And, you know, and while the top's not like perfect, the soil's not like all dried out. It's got a pretty good root system here. I mean, not pretend I know what the hell I'm talking about, but for the most part, we're looking good. I'm gonna finish laying down the rest of the soil and I'm just gonna do it. So this was a neighbor that I had never even met before. Um, he would drive by almost every day and see me out there working and be like, you need some help, you need some help. And I'm like, oh, I'm good, thank you. You know, I'm fine, thank you. Um, but on the day of me actually laying the side, he was like, let me know when you're ready. And I was so tired and exhausted. I was just like, look, sure come help this is the easy part you literally just lay it down but he was he basically laid the majority of this down and i really appreciated it y'all he was like why i kept asking you do you help and i was just like i don't really I'm, sometimes i don't really know how to ask for help <laughs> it's in my dna it is ingrained in me from a very young age to just get it done you know how it's going to be done. You don't have to worry about waiting for anybody else to get it done. Um, but I was so drained, exhausted that I was just like, sure, come help. And he really, really did. So I really appreciated that. And I have to say this, y'all, this is how bad, this is how deep my independence runs and I'm working on it while he was doing it. Even like, you know, after I was thinking, Oh, I spent all this hard work doing all the tough stuff by myself for somebody to just come in <laughs> and just help me finish it. It kind of took away from me feeling like I did this completely alone because it's like a pride thing of me putting in so much effort and stepping back and knowing that I did that. I know it's probably a crazy way to think, but like I kept looking back like, oh, if he messes something up, I was just so nervous to have spent so much time and effort making sure I do it as right as I can for anybody to come in and like mess that up. But yeah, I did get some much needed help laying it down and it was very, very appreciated. If you've been here long enough, this isn't a surprise to you. Y'all know how I am, but I would love to know your thoughts on like just, you know, a lot of y'all are you know, you're used to just stepping back and letting other people do it. Where I come from, it just has not been a part of my reality. So accepting help, asking for help is something I am not always working on, if I'm being completely honest. But I know it's something that I'm going to have to unlearn because I cannot take on it all. Tell me if anybody can relate to that or if you have any tips or suggestions to help with that habit. <music>
So unfortunately, we ran out of sod. So I didn't have enough. The place I got the grass from is close. They also are not open tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot and just try and find some patches of the same type of grass. I'll be back. I am this close to hanging up my independent woman hat. You heard it here first. You fill this up with water and it gets super heavy and you roll it on the grass to compress it. He let me use his machete. But here's the grass, y'all. In all honesty, it's not as good as I thought it would look. Getting it local and not from like Home Depot, I had to stretch those pieces of grass. When I tell you I had to stretch those pieces of grass, I'm just praying it takes. It doesn't look perfect. You have some pieces from the local solder and you have some pieces from Home Depot. I'm not going back to Home Depot. And we're just hoping for the best. I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> I'm literally not worried about it, kind of, just a little bit. <laughs> I'm just hoping, of course, that everything takes. I'm hoping, of course, that, you know, we can get roots growing and it can grab hold to the soil, to this dirt. And yeah, we're just gonna go from there. The only thing left to do now is water it and roll it. Let's see if this is filled up yet. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna stress about it. But I am nervous because it took me several days of preparation. So, yeah. The monkey birds are out. All right, let's water this line. I'm not going to record all this, <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> how the grass is looking what is it it's Monday we put it in Saturday it's looking patchy I watered it this morning at about almost 7 a.m. I watered it again yesterday I'm gonna water it again after work around 3 I'm watering it at least three times a day, but I don't want to overwater it. <sighs> it's not looking the best. Strangely, it still looks better than it did before. Got some patches of brown, you can see. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. So I'm gonna keep watering it and I'll keep y'all updated. So this is day three two days after install. Side note, look at this mulch. Look at this mulch. I have officially decided I'm going to get rocks. <laughs> I'm gonna get either lava rocks or rubber mulch because I won't be dealing with this every season. 
I need to have something here that I'm able to just easily blow off whatever falls. There go the birds. All right. All right. I'm going to begin. Another early morning. I'm gonna give you all this real life update <laughs> of my grass, y'all. It is looking like a game of, is it checkers or chess? You know what I'm talking about. That, that's what it's looking like. Get close up on it. Yeah. There are literally pieces of side that are just done for but I am not giving up this is like day four and all I can do is water and water I will do so we have not been getting rain and as you can see I still have these very very <laughs> not so good looking patches in my yard and you can see them even more now now that some of it is starting to like you know be more green so I got this little sprinkler contraption that I have to like position switch but that way I can run it a little bit 10-15 minutes while I go in and work <laughs> and I don't have to just stand out here and do it so update it is like eight days i think this is day nine actually this is april the fifth day nine i think y'all do the math i don't know but i'll come back out here and show y'all what we're looking like closer when the watering is done all right so day nine april 5th of the grass as you can tell it's much greener but the patches are much more <laughs> recognizable. They look really, really bad, some worse than others. But if you look closer, like close enough, there's a little bit of hope. You see those green sprouts? They weren't there before. So this is telling me that this patch is beginning to take roots and has some type of hope to grow. There are some that still aren't really showing much, aren't really showing much. But if you look close, there's a little bit of hope. <laughs> a little bit of hope. These three patches are really like, eh, I don't know. But if you get like real close up on it, y'all, I'll consider that to be a little bit of hope. <laughs> Here's one that's a perfect example though. You see all the sprouts? This used to be all like that so see so still looks crazy i know you got your spots but i am continuing to water like crazy okay continuing to water like crazy and i will continue to so here's what we're looking like april the 5th even this patch over here let me show you real quick Oh, it looks bad. It looks bad, I know. But, just feel like it's still got some hope, y'all. Like, it's still got some hope. I've been raking it as best as I can because it is still not rooted. Like, if you look here, this looks like a new one, you know? So, when I see that, I, I see possibility. <laughs> we'll keep watering. So, we'll keep watering. This is day nine, April the 5th, front line, no, I won't even say experiment, honey, front line progress. All right, so as you can see, the grass is nice and green still, but those patches, aren't really budging like I would like them to. So I think that I'm eventually probably gonna have to get a couple more pieces aside and like lift these up and replace them with a new side. But I'm probably gonna give it like another week. I'll probably give it another week 
just to see. Cause it's like little things like, I don't even know if y'all can see it. You see that little piece of green right there. It's like, girl, give it up, right? I'm not gonna give up, I'm not gonna give up. This patch here, I showed y'all that was filling it up. It's filling up more. So that's still looking better. That patch there was just like these ones. Where'd it go? That patch right over here, right here, yeah. So that's filling in like this is filling in. Either way, it's just so much better than it was before. This is like day 13. Day 13, progress pick. And um, it's looking, it's looking okay. Tell me what y'all think. I know it's looking, ah, right? But considering what it looked like before y'all, I'm still very proud of myself, um, but I'll keep y'all updated. I've been forgetting updates the past few days, but it's been like two weeks. No, no, it's been almost three weeks. It's been three weeks and two more days. So two weeks, five days, and I'm watering. And they probably like, why are you watering this patch? I'll update y'all. I'll walk around here and update y'all on some things when I'm done. Hold on. Look, this is my um <laughs> water hose um, contracting. <laughs> Just going back like paranormal activity. Anyways, here's my art. Okay. Here's my. Now I will say, luscious and green. I'll be it. <laughs> It's getting to the point where I'm going to have to cut it soon, but we aren't at the point where I'm supposed to because there are, look, okay, let's get into it. As you can see, it's definitely looking more luscious. It's definitely looking more green. You can definitely still see the patches, but the amount of patches I think are either less easy to see because the grass is getting higher or going away. But we're gonna go on the on the strength of going away. It is April the 14th. Yes, the mulch and stuff looks crazy. Look, we're not focusing on that at all. I think this summer I'm just gonna go with the volcano rock. Haven't even priced it, anything like that. But it's the grass that we're focusing on. So boom. Okay. <laughs> this is one of the problem spots that has been one of the problem spots. Not much update here, but as you can see, we have some new growth. And y'all know how I have been through this whole process. Hopeful, okay? Okay, it looks crazy. You see those little spots here. What I have been doing daily is kind of like raking out the debris that is just loose and just on top. So it looks very, very like suffocated, but it's not as suffocated as it looks. I have been raking it out but I can't be too aggressive with it because again, it hasn't fully rooted, but there is still new growth coming in. You know what I mean? So I'm hopeful. We're going to let that one be. This is another spot that is similar, but not as big. I don't see a whole lot of new growth here, but I'm still, oh wait, actually, yeah. See, if you look in there, it's, it's got some, some action going, but I'm not too worried about that one since it's not as large as the others. This patch here is just like the one previously. Look, y'all. You see those little spurts of growth? They were not there before. In my mind, I'm like, I can just buy another piece of side, cut it out, put it in. But I'm still hopeful that this will do what a couple of the other patches have done, which I'll show y'all in a second. So like I said, you get in there, we got some hope. Still looks like a patch from far away, but I'm looking at the bigger picture here. Um, we've got a couple of spots on the side that are kind of like this. Like a, whoa, let me back up, sorry. Like I said, I have been raking it out and kind of like clearing out the debris so that, you know, it gets as much air as possible through there. Um, but it's very hard when it's very windy and I have trees right above my lawn, so. Okay, now coming over here, we're starting to look much better, okay, okay. We have another little 
curb spot but we've got some small little pieces of growth as you can see peeking through the ones that kind of are brown the ones that are kind of like brown at the tip and green at the bottom shows me that it's growing from the ground up which is a good sign okay remember this patch here y'all this is what's really keeping me hopeful this patch here this circle right there i'm gonna maybe put a picture up over here so y'all can see or if y'all remember maybe like the first weekend this whole patch looked just like these okay and i it's filling in it's filling in more and more it's not completely there but it started like this with just a couple of pieces of grass coming through like i told y'all the brown tip the green at the bottom it's it's trying to do something so i'm hoping that that fills in just like this is this is a spot that's kind of iffy and i feel like i might end up having to resod but we've got a little bit of something so really the moral of the story is that it looks much better <laughs> we clearly have like bad spots and instead of just pulling them up resodding and starting from scratch because y'all i'm showing you the imperfections but look at my lawn like it has come a very long way and it is because of the time and the effort. When I tell you I've been waking up at six o'clock in the morning, sometimes before then to water my lawn, I do not have a, um, what do you call it? Irrigation system? Don't have that. I don't have that here. So I've been doing it out here like a real one, okay? Um, so boom, we're over here. This little area, as you can see, I've got some like more bushier parts. Bushy, 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 bushy. This little area here just hasn't been growing much. It's been pretty like flat. Kind of flat over here. But, you know, it's not brown, so I'll take that, okay? At that time. Um, remember I showed y'all here where it had a couple of pieces growing? It is filling in so much better, y'all see? I know you probably don't care for these type of updates, but this is a part of the process. Hopefully maybe help somebody who's thinking of doing this or if it's interesting, I don't know, maybe it's not, that's fine. This is honestly more for me to document it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put a picture up of what it looked like maybe a week or two ago. And this is just another one of those things that gives me hope because it looked very hopeless before. Right, another patch. Look, I'm just gonna take you through the patches. But look, y'all, we got a little bit of growth over here, okay? Still a little patchy here, a little patchy there, but overall, you know, okay. There's a lot of like green and patchy up in here. It's still not like evenly green. And honestly, y'all, I don't need a perfect line. This is not what I'm here for, okay? But I've only become invested because I took so much time and effort to get to this point. But now I like, I need to see it through. But once everything takes root and I am able to comfortably rake on the line, I can like dethatch, get a lot of the dead, you know, pieces of grass and it'll look a lot more green. And this is kind of like the last patch of not quite there yet this is i think the biggest patch period that i have and it's just gotten some new growth as well i don't know if i have an exact close-up of this one but it still doesn't look good but compared to what it was bless you you know it's got some growth so this is what we're looking like this is my yard it's still so much better than what it was before. I could leave it like this and be perfectly fine, but I need to at least take care of the big patches, even if it ends up being that I have to resod it. This is just an update. Bye. First mo, and I'm scared. It's April the 21st, ignore the mulch, ignore the mulch, okay? <laughs> April the 21st, and this is after my first cut after my first cut y'all i should have got a video of it right before it was cut because it was very high but as you can see it looks a lot more clean like on the edges 
You can also see the spots a little bit more because it's not so high, but it looks very clean. Very, very clean, very, very even. Look at my lawn, y'all. Not perfect, but I wanted to give y'all a good look. It is April the 21st. We're a couple of days shy of a full month since resodding. So here is the update. I'm on water today. I'm not giving up. I know you're probably like, girl, it's been a month. Nope, I'm not giving up yet. Even this patch right here that I told y'all was dead from jump has some sprouts. See that? Now I had no hope for this patch, but look. At this point, it's a fun experiment, so we're gonna keep on watering it. Remember this spot here? It's filling in. This spot looks like that spot. It's a point, so y'all can't tell me nothing.